Hi, it's Katrina. From Roman cavalry helmets to the largest coin hoard discovery ever found, here are 12 incredible archaeological discoveries made with a metal detector. Number 12. Crosby Garrett Helmet in 2010, an Irish detectorist made an incredibly rare find when he was exploring the fields near Crosby Garrett in the county of Cumbria in England. The anonymous searcher had been looking at the fields for the previous two years, but had only found Roman coins and other small artifacts up until that point. That's not too bad either. That all changed when one lucky day he unearthed a Roman cavalry helmet, thought to be from the late 2nd or early 3rd century AD. Further research in the area found that the site had been a Roman settlement, and evidence of earthworks and a Roman road were found thanks to his discovery. The helmet was found in 67 different pieces that were put back together before going up for auction in October 2010. The initial estimate was immediately exceeded and, in the end, it sold to an anonymous bidder for $3.7 million. Just think about it, this could be you! Number 11. Iron Age Gold Necklaces in 2009, David Booth was using his metal detector in a field for the first time, having only just gotten it to try out his new hobby, and he tested it on knives in his kitchen. But nine paces from where he parked his car, he made one of the most famous finds in Scottish history. He was shocked as he scraped away the soil where his detector had indicated to reveal four gold necklaces known as torques. They were dated to 300 BC and were such an important find that historians have re-examined the ways they look at human society from the time. The intricate designs are in some areas as wide as a finger and were valued at more than 1 million pounds, about 1.3 million dollars. Unfortunately for Booth, the law in Scotland states that treasure hoards belong to the crown rather than the finder or the landowner, so after his moment of fame for his discovery, the necklaces were passed on to a national museum for further study and to be put on display. Number 10. Viking Board Game Mick Bott, a 73-year-old retired miner and metal detectorist, recently unearthed a Viking board game dating back to 872 AD, roughly 1,150 years ago, in Torxey, Lincolnshire, England. The complete set, consisting of 37 pieces, was used in a chess-like game called Hinefatafel. Probably not how you say that. But it was popular among soldiers due to its strategic nature. Bot discovered the game at a site next to the River Trent, where he spent roughly decades searching for artifacts, making his first discoveries as far back as 1982. The artifact, among other finds by Bot and two fellow metal detectorists, included coins, strap ends, and brooches, all dating to the 9th century, and serves as evidence to archaeologists that Vikings camped through the winter at River Trent in the year 872. Several thousand people reportedly stayed at the site, where they played Hennefetafel to pass the time. Researchers hadn't taken Bot's find seriously at first, but when he presented them with the board game, he finally got their attention. The discovery may constitute the oldest complete set of pieces found at one site, according to artifact consultant Nigel Mills. Of the game pieces, Mills said, no one really appreciated them, but they actually are a very important part of our history. The artifacts were slated to go up for auction, where they were expected to fetch at least 1,000 pounds. It seems like they would be worth more than that. What do you think? Number 9. A Live Explosive Earlier this year, police in Lebanon, Tennessee, reported to the scene of an unexploded World War II-era mortar round. The find was made by 13-year-old Blake Davis, who was out exploring with a metal detector along with his 11-year-old brother when he made the disturbing discovery behind Hartman Plantation. They immediately told their mother, who summoned the authorities, and the Tennessee Highway Patrol's bomb squad reported to the scene, along with staff members from Fort Campbell. David said, I saw it and thought it was a piece of metal, but then after looking at it closely, I realized it's an explosion. Smart kid. The bomb squad declared that the weapon was both live and too unstable to be moved, leaving the team with no choice but to perform a controlled detonation at the scene, which many local residents overheard, and they also called the police. That would be pretty scary. They probably should have warned the neighbors. Authorities searched the area carefully for more live explosives before declaring it safe. During World War II, the U.S. military used the area as a training ground, explaining why the mortar was left behind. But this just goes to show you just never know what you might find with a metal detector.
Does this make you kind of want to explore with a detector outside? Let me know if you would get one in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell if you haven't already. We have lots more videos coming up. Number 8. Dentures This one is a bit weird. In March 2019, in a field in Buckinghamshire, southern England, a metal detectorist and bricklayer named Peter Cross found a 200-year-old set of top dentures. The fascinating discovery was announced late last year. Made from gold and possibly hippopotamus or walrus ivory, the teeth were fashioned to be as lifelike as possible. When I first pulled them up out of the ground, I thought they were sheep's teeth, Cross said in a statement. They would have belonged to a very wealthy person, he said, adding that they date back between 1800 and 1850 and would have cost a fortune at the time. A dentist friend said that the owner would have paid between 200 to 300 pounds in the 1800s and that would have bought half the houses in the Buckinghamshire village of Brill back then, a very affluent village. What do you prefer, half of the town's houses or a set of gold teeth? Let me know in the comments below. The false teeth are missing their bottom half, even after Cross revisited the site multiple times and looked for it. This portion of the dentures would have no metal in it, according to Cross, making them impossible to find with a metal detector and thus complicating the search. The man who discovered the artifact contacted the British Dental Association, the British Museum, and others, and everyone he showed the false teeth to was amazed. Mark Betcher, a metal detector finds consultant at Hansen Auction Group, said that the tusk of the animal, whose ivory was used for the dentures, cleverly fitted the shape of the mouth. He said the front six teeth have retained the enamel of the tusk to give the effect of the surface of a tooth, though I doubt they'll be in a Colgate advert anytime soon. The false teeth were slated to go up for auction, with plans for the property owner to collect half of the profits, and for Cross and Diana Wilde, a fellow metal detectorist who was with him when the dentures were found, to each receive 25%. Proceeds were expected to range between 3,000 and 7,000 pounds. Number 7. Lost Medieval Coin In August 2019, a metal detectorist rediscovered a lost Scottish medieval coin at an undisclosed site in Norfolk, England. Dating back sometime between 1280 and 1286, the coin features the head of Alexander III of Scotland. Coin expert Dr. Adrian Marsden of the Norfolk Historic Environment Service explained in a BBC interview that someone religious likely wore it as a brooch or a pendant, and that it had traveled some way before ending up where it was found. The side of the coin bearing the cross rather than the head was intended for display. Dr. Marsden further explained, adding that there are also settings for gems, which are no longer there, which represent the five wounds of Christ, so it is symbolic and adds to the religious dimension. The coin's owner would have been relatively wealthy and of good social standing. At the time, when a day's wages amounted to no more than two pennies, the pendant was worth around 20 pounds. The artifact was declared a treasure under the UK's 1996 Treasure Act, and the Norwich Castle Museum hopes to obtain the coin and add it to their collection. Number 6. Centuries-Old Sword Fiontan Hughes, a 10-year-old schoolboy from County Tyrone in Northern Ireland, recently discovered a 300-year-old sword near his backyard after receiving a metal detector for his birthday. I'm starting to think that this is a really good gift. Don't you kind of want one? Buried about one foot underground, the sword was found when Fiontan's metal detector signaled for a third time, after alerting him twice to insignificant trinkets, he said to the BBC. The boy's father, Paul Hughes, was with Fiontan when he made the shocking find, which Dad chalked up to a case of beginner's luck. Unsure of the sword's origin or age, the family consulted several antique arms dealerships, who dated it back to sometime during the 18th century. The sword is a basket-hilt type sword as used by English officers and dragoons from about 1720 to 1780, or it could be a Scottish basket-hilt of about 1700 to 1850, antique arms dealer Philip Spooner told the BBC, adding that he believed it was most likely an English officer's sword due to its ornate design. But the rusty, mud-covered sword was admittedly difficult to examine. Not wanting the sword to rust in his garage and fearing that it was deteriorating by the day, the elder Hughes expressed his desire to get to the bottom of its origins so that it may be handed over to qualified experts and perhaps put on display. Number 5. Shipwrecked Coins Earlier this year, a pair of treasure hunters claimed to have discovered coins from a 1715 Spanish shipwreck along a Florida beach using a metal detector. 
While searching the sand at the Turtle Trail Beach Access in Vero Beach, 43-year-old Jonah Martinez and his friend unearthed 22 Spanish silver coins from what they believed to be a 305-year-old shipwreck. The hoard, worth an estimated $7,000, likely came from a fleet of 12 Spanish treasure-laden galleons that were en route to Spain on July 31, 1715, when 11 of them sank during a hurricane off the Florida coast. Most of the treasure lost during the tragedy remains in the ocean. Not everyone knows why it's called the Treasure Coast, Martinez said after making the discovery. This is why. It wasn't the biggest or most valuable find for Martinez, an experienced treasure hunter who once discovered $6.5 million worth of gold coins. But it's remarkable in its own right, and the man expressed that he had no desire to sell the hoard, but that he instead planned to keep it, unpolished, near some of his other claimed treasures. To Martinez, it's not about the money anyway. In his words, it's a passion. It's the thrill of the hunt that I love. Number 4. Hand-to-Hand -hand Combat Weapons While sweeping the site of the famous Battle of Grunwald in northern Poland, metal detectorists found two 600-year-old battle axes that were used in hand-to-hand -hand combat. The artifacts, which are in remarkably good condition, come from what some archaeologists claim was Europe's largest battle during the Middle Ages. Out of the 50,000 soldiers who marched into battle when the Battle of Grunwald commenced on July 15, 1410, only two apparently left behind axe heads. The weapons vary in design, with one having a longer closed shaft and the other possessing a shorter open shaft. Dozens of other artifacts, including swords and spearheads, have been found at the site. During the conflict, Polish and Lithuanian forces fought against the Germanic Teutonic Knights' expansion along the Baltic Sea's southeastern coast. The Teutonic leadership was defeated, and its soldiers were all either killed or taken prisoner by the Polish-Lithuanian forces, which subsequently emerged as one of Europe's most powerful states. Number 3. Local Pub Horde Luke Mahoney, an experienced 40-year-old metal detectorist who owns a shop in Suffolk, England, discovered the biggest hoard of his lifetime behind a local pub after spending a decade traveling the globe in search of treasure. Isn't that always the way? Searching the globe and then finding things in your own backyard. Earlier this year, after persuading the owners of the Lindsay Rose Pub to let them search the field behind the building, Mahoney and two friends found 100,000 pounds worth of Civil War era coins. At first, the pub owner and Mahoney's friend, Charlie Buckle, wrote the discovery off as potentially inconsequential. Luke gets quite excited about everything he finds, so at first I was like, yeah, okay, Buckle told the mirror, but then he kept ringing and told me I had to come down and see what he had found. A plow had recently cracked an earthenware pot buried two feet below ground while clearing the 15-acre field. Altogether, Mahoney discovered 1,061 coins dating back between the 15th and 17th century, with the earliest being an Elizabeth I-era shilling from sometime between 1573 and 1578. Historians believe a wealthy landowner buried the hoard before leaving to fight in the English Civil War. In accordance with the 1996 Treasure Act, Mahoney notified the proper authorities of the suspected treasure. Number 2. Medieval Pope Seal Earlier this year, a metal detectorist in Shropshire, England, discovered a seal belonging to Pope Innocent IV. While this coin-like thing might not seem that exciting, it marks the milestone of 1.5 million items that have been unearthed by the public in Britain under the British Museum's Portable Antiquities Scheme, which encourages citizens to come forward with artifacts in hopes of learning more about the area's history. Dating back to the 13th century, the lead, coin-like artifact was reportedly used for conferring religious and political favors. It may have ended up at its discovery site as a result of the Pope trying to gain Henry III's support in his campaign to claim Sicily. Another possibility, according to Peter Reville, the British Museum's Portable Antiquities Scheme Finds Liaison Officer, was that a wealthy person received the seal in exchange for paying an indulgence to keep him out of purgatory. Reville, who spoke with the Daily Mail, explained that the seal wasn't extremely valuable, but spoke to the richness of the region's archaeology more than anything else. Number 1. Iron Age Coin Hoard In 2012, a hoard containing nearly 70,000 coins set the new Guinness World Record for the largest discovery of its type in the British Isles. Discovered in January 2012 by metal detectorists Reg Mead and Richard Miles in Jersey, the largest of the Channel Islands, the 69,347 coin collection is worth an estimated $13 million. 
The find defeats the previous record set over 40 years ago in 1978 with a discovery of 54,951 Iron Age coins in Wiltshire, England. Some of the coins in the more recently discovered hoard date back to 50 BC. Made of silver and gold, they were found beneath a hedge in a mound of clay three feet underground. Some of the coins have an image of a horse on one side and on the other side a depiction of Apollo. It's believed the trove was hidden on the island by the Coriosolite tribe from Brittany and France to hide it from approaching Roman legions. Although Meade and Miles were entitled to reward for their remarkable find, the coins are considered treasure under the 1996 Treasure Act, making them official property of the Queen. However, since the pair were responsible for finding them, the detectorists were in line for a significant prize and will go down in history books for their find. They are very excited to have received the Guinness World Record. Thanks for watching! Do you have a metal detector? Have you ever found anything? Let us know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!